It's been a very unsettled week of weather. We've had three named storms over the last week, starting with Dudley, which brought gusts up to 81 miles an hour as it tracked across northern Scotland Wednesday into Thursday. Then obviously we had Storm Eunice on Friday, a very powerful storm. So I thought we'd start this week's video by taking a look at just how strong that was. Now this map shows for each station the number of years since a gust of a similar strength. So you can see here across southern Britain, that's where the winds were strongest and in some places 20 to 30 years since a gust of a similar strength. So very powerful winds for Storm Eunice. We had a gust of 122 miles an hour recorded on the Isle of Wight and that's the strongest wind gust ever recorded in England. So a very powerful and very damaging storm Storm Eunice was. Then we had Storm Franklin, that was over the weekend, Sunday into Monday. That more affected northwestern areas here where you can see the colours, the blue colours indicating that's where we had the strongest gusts in a number of years, seven to eight years for many places in northwestern England and for one station in Northern Ireland, 25 years since a gust of a similar strength. So a very windy period of weather over the last week and uh, also quite wet for many places as well. The rain really sort of concentrated in northwestern areas. This is the radar estimated rainfall accumulation map over the last week. You can see these purple colors here indicating 70 mil of rain or more over the last week. So obviously northwestern areas and over high ground where those rainfall totals were greatest. And we, as we go a little bit further south, we get into those green colors there, sort of closer to 10 millimeters of rain or so. So not so much rain in these places, although it was rather wet for some southern areas on Saturday and we saw quite an active cold front moving through on Sunday as well bring some quite squally winds some quite heavy bursts of rain as well so um, for many places the wettest part of the week was the weekend for those southern areas but do we have more unsettled weather on the way let's take a look at the forecast starting with the jet stream still quite strong indicated by these red colors here pushing towards the UK now, as we go over the next few days, it will dive its way southwards. That will push a cold front across the UK. Then following that, we will start to see it push northwards again, allowing a ridge of high pressure to build in here towards the weekend. But just as we go towards the end of the period, you can see still strong, still pushing towards the UK, driving more low pressure systems towards us. Now, taking a look at the detail for Wednesday, a slight ridge of high pressure around at first, so perhaps a touch of frost, maybe the odd mist or fog patch in the south at first, but generally for much of England and Wales, it will be a dry and bright day. Could see the odd shower in places, but for many places it will be dry, just turning increasingly breezy. Now, further northwest, there'll be more in the way of scattered showers, perhaps merging to longer spells of rain as a cold front arrives as the day progresses. You can see by the end of the day that cold front now over parts of Wales and central England also turning quite breezy for many places as well. Now as we go into Thursday that cold front it will gradually move its way south eastwards through the day so gradually clearing um, but it will be followed by scattered showers in the north and west perhaps some longer spells of rain sleet or snow in places too and also fairly breezy for many places. Once that cold front has cleared in the southeast, however, it will generally turn drier and brighter for these areas. It will also start to feel cooler as that cold front goes through as well. So you can see at the start of this on Wednesday, we've got these sort of green colors across the map here. So fairly mild, but as we go through this period, you can see those blue colors rushing onto the map here. So it will begin to feel cooler as we go through the day on Thursday, particularly in any breezy conditions as well, feeling chilly. Now, as we go into Friday, we've got low pressure out to the east. So some scattered showers, maybe some longer spells of rain, sleet or snow in the east at first. But as we go through the day, low pressure clears away. High pressure builds from the south. We'll start to see many places turning drier. And indeed, into Saturday, as high pressure remains close by, much of England and Wales staying dry through day. Potential for a frost at first as well. Um, so it's important to remember that if you're in England and Wales. But as we go through... Um, to the end of the day on Saturday, we will start to see this cold front spreading into northwestern areas, so pushing some areas of rain, ice bars tightening up there as well, so becoming quite breezy to end the day on Saturday. Now, if you ever have any questions on the forecast, the best thing to do is to speak to our forecasters. We're available every day, 6 a.m. till 5.30 p.m. on 09065 777 And we're always happy to answer your questions with calls costing £1.55 minute plus network access charges. 
Now, looking a little further ahead towards the end of the weekend into Sunday, that cold front that I mentioned that would be pushing into northwestern areas on Saturday will move its way southeastwards as we go through the day on Sunday. However, you can see here, this, this here being the cold front, it has weakened somewhat. So for many places, it'll really only be areas of thicker cloud moving through across parts of the southeast, maybe the odd sort of spell of patchy light rain for some places, but generally a weakening affair as we go through Sunday. Many places indeed still on the drier side of things but looking further ahead Sunday night Monday kind of time we see this next area of low pressure approaching from the west and this will generally push a cold front and rain into many areas as we go through Monday that cold front will again move its way south eastwards but again weakening as it does so so again many places won't see the the sort of heaviest rain from this the thing it is important to mention though as we go into Tuesday as that cold front clears it might just wave into southern areas again so keep an eye on the forecast for Tuesday especially if you're in the south but otherwise, looking further for the week ahead into week two, the rest of the week generally looks to be quite changeable, a, a mixture of conditions, but we've got high pressure to the south and that will ridge up at times, keeping things on the drier side of things for southeastern areas helping those fronts to weaken as they approach it. So for many southeastern areas, it will stay on the drier side of things while those fronts continue to pile into northwestern areas there and feeling quite changeable and often breezy at times. As I said, in the southeast, generally rainfall will be closer to average here. The, these places will see the best of any drier and brighter weather. While we see these green colours across the southwest here, uh, the northwest here even, um, where the rainfall will be furthest above average. And just looking to the rest of the continent as well, where that high pressure dominates conditions, lots of brown colours across here, widely indicating drier than average conditions. As well as the drier conditions, much of the continent as well, temperatures will be above average with uh, the flow generally from the west or southwest, so keeping temperatures above average. And you can see across the UK in these pink colours here, many places temperatures will be above average. There might be some brief colder spells of air coming in at times, but generally above average temperatures for week two. Now, taking a look at our chance of a dry day chart, quite a mixture of things going on here. You can see quite changeable at first, mixture of those green and brown colours. And as we go into Friday, Saturday, as that ridge of high pressure builds, we can see those brown colours extending across much of the UK. Obviously, a few green squares here and there as rain starts to spread in, but turning dry for many places then. The next low pressure system arriving Sunday into Monday bring this wadge of green colours here. Um, and then perhaps a ridge of high pressure following that. So a bit of a changeable mixed bag as we go into next week, but following that towards the very end of the week and into net the following week, so week three into the second week of March, you can see these green colors becoming quite widespread across the chart here, particularly across Northwestern areas, but extending into Southern areas as well. So indicating things might turn more widely unsettled as we go into that second week of March. Looking further ahead into week four of our monthly forecast towards the middle slash end of March, you can see those green colours still extending across many northwestern areas. So still the idea of fronts piling into these places, but we return back to the white colours here with occasional brown squares mixed in there, meaning that things might just turn dry up for southern areas once again. Taking a look at the monthly supports this idea somewhat. So as we go into week three, those blue colours having more of an extent across the map as the high retreats to the south somewhat. So perhaps something more widely unsettled as we go into week three. But looking at week four, that high moves its way back northwards. So suggesting things might return to something a little more settled, although I think we'll still see fronts edging into northwestern areas at times. So to summarise, um, still unsettled and breezy, kind of changeable at times over the next week or so, but often drier in the southeast, maybe with a touch of frost at times as well. And that pattern really continuing into next week. But generally temperatures looking around average, maybe slightly above average for the time of year. As we go into that second week of March, as we said, hints of things returning to turning something more widely unsettled. So spells of rain likely for many places at times, but further towards the end of the period, returning to something slightly more settled in the south again. Thanks for watching this week's WeatherQuest farming forecast. As always, if you enjoyed it, please get in touch with us on social media.